Welcome back, Internet. Jack Attack here, and I'm playing Robot Vacuum Simulator 2013. Let's get into the campaign. This beautiful game. God, look at that frame rate. You play as a robot simulator. A robot vacuum cleaner in the simulator. Ah, there we go. There's that silky smooth frame rate. Gorgeous 60 frames per second. Running at a full 1080p. You can see the, the graphics in this game are absolutely stunning. We've got fully rendered models of scientific architecture. And then we're going to go take up, take up some dust. And there we go. There's a very, very silent back and We've got some DVDs there. I'll probably nearly read what they are. There is a lot of, a lot of yellow movies in there. That's probably repeated. The red couch is sporting a very fine finish on it. You can see the texture. Very high quality graphics in this game. And with a, with a stunning soundtrack as well, this music is is soothing, to say the least. As we make our way around the room. This game's been in development for a very, very long time, created by hundreds of people who put many, many man hours into this game. You see, I think that's supposed to be a window on that far wall, but it looks more to be two series of paintings, as those buildings are not changing perspective as we move. Red is definitely the colour scheme of this building. The goal of this game is to clean up the dust in this in this house. A, a thrilling campaign to say the least. This, this game is just award winning in so many ways. Look at a, look at a plant up ahead. Look at that. Look at that quality in the foliage. A bit, bit of shading effects there on the on the robot vacuum cleaner as I move around. Our shadows are coming in some DLC later on. Just, just so immersive, this game. Could literally leave you for hours just rolling around and vacuuming up dust. The dust does look like a bunch of golf balls strapped together with some rubber bands. Into the went Oh, look at that camera! My goodness, dynamic camera right there. Now, how much we got in this room? We got one in the corner there. Come under the table. Let's navigate the table to get there. Do we, do we have object collision? We do. Full object collision in this game. They're not taking any corners here. Can we make the game? That is a no. We are nearly becoming airborne. Go the front edge of this table, uh, the chair. There is also a dual mode. As you can tell, multiplayer would be a very thrilling aspect for this game. I think full, full dust collecting action. I think there'd be much potential to this game. Okay, if you haven't got it, this, this is so sarcastic. I can't do it much longer. This is a simulator game which has just been released on the internet and it is kind of a hoot to play. I thought I'd put it up as a silly video. Pretty much, I think it's my 101st video, but we'll say it's the 100th video. It's a, a good laugh to have. It's kind of funny though that someone would bother making this. I think it came out originally as a 2D game, just as kind of like a laugh and it got so much press because simulator games are becoming quite big in terms of like Farming Simulator 2013, I guess, like Euro Truck Simulator 2013, Bus Simulator, blah blah blah, all that. Oh, I nearly missed a piece of dust. All these types of simulators. And so I think the creator actually went back and just decided to make a 3D version and created in Unity. Unity? Unity. One of those three and checked it out for free. I, I don't know if it's really worth the time unless you really do enjoy your vacuum cleaner simulators. It's kind of funny though, thinking about how the father could take this game, you know, with coloured vacuum cleaners, you know, you could maybe sport on a spoiler on the back, etc. So I think we've done these two rooms. Let's go around the corner here. Seems to be a bedroom, which seems to be an absolute mess, and we've also got a bathroom, which seems to have more dust than the bedroom. I don't know what <laughs> done in the bathroom. We will go in here. The music actually ain't too bad, thankfully. This camera gonna go awesome way dynamic again. Yep, brilliant. Oh, we'll grab that one. 
Now I'm wondering if that curtain over there. Can see the dust? I already got rid of that. If that's dynamic. Dynamic cloth. Nope, we're just gonna go straight through it. Oh well. Photorealistic tiling, which is. I hate to say the least. Right, I hope we've got only got one more room to go and we have no more dust remaining. Let's go across this ledge again. There we go. It is kind of a fun game though, just to, to mess around with. I tell some people I'm playing this game and they're like, you do what? This is such a waste of your time. But I don't think they see that there's such potential for video games. Is there any dust behind this door? No. For many, many art forms. So you've got games like Bastion or Half-Life, which are telling amazing stories. How am I going to do this? I guess I'll go around this way. You've got amazing cooperative play games. For me, that's Natural Selection too, but you can go anything from Battlefield. Even the Call of Duty can be a very well done cooperative game. You've got action games, again like Call of Duty, but from all different types, from you know action game platformers like Rogue Legacy, Mario, to Magic Zillia, and there are many, many ways you can have you know a computer game can be done to just for so many different needs. Back and Cleaner Simulator, though, definitely falls after, under the uh, probably nearly useless and stupid category, but a very good laugh anyway. Now, hopefully this is our final piece of dust to collect. Oh, this is one behind that door. And that should be it. Ah, there you go. That's a good, just over six and a half minutes. That's probably nearly a speedrunning... Speed running. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this music. Obviously, Sebastian Rodolf Maxef is the producer, writer, lead artist, lead programmer, written by senior producer, uh, director, technical director of this game. I have a feeling it was made by one man. Thank you for watching this stupid video on Vacuum Simulator 2013. If you haven't seen my channel update, which was released yesterday, please do check that out. Uh, I talk about the new schedule I'm doing, but also at the end I'm talking about a competition which I've just started. Thank you for watching guys, we'll see you later.